that's ours? Uh, yeah, I guess. straight we were following a vein here came down here and then we swung off in here and in here's where this was all in ore here this is where we got the 10 ounce stuff in through here but what happened is we opened this up too big here and this cave so we came back and we drive the ramp further to came right around when we come back here we're back in here underneath this all now mm -hmm. uh, we're establishing a level here and on this plan here, see that was 100 feet down. There's my diamond drill hole that we put in. And this is where we got all of the uh, good assays here through here. Came back, then we driven around through, went through a little fog zone here, came around here. Now you're, this is limestone, huh? Limestone over here. Yeah. This is pork. No, pour, we got a porphyry section here, and then we got limestone again. Okay. Now what we've got, this is a mag. Okay. Okay, so we got a high and low, and the, what we're finding out, these are our targets. Here, right now we're into this area right here. Okay? And we're going to, and we're coming into this area. So we're tying these two areas together right now. This is at the portal, and we got a, we got a vein, we got two veins right here. We're going to come down, we're going to continue this across into here, flat, establish that as a level below the cave zone. Then we're going to come back here, we're going to cut a muck bay in here, but we're actually going to drive over to test this, uh, this, uh, this zone in here. And we'll continue driving on this red zinc vein down here. 
this is you test it out with drill holes? Or? No, we haven't just, we haven't tested. We drilled this here before we even did the mag. And this is uh, we got the cuttings are mineralized in here. We got we got gold in the cuttings in that. So what well, Phil will Phil will discuss the geology with you on it. about a one ounce per ton on this station going into attic. Pursued that yet? I got to follow that out to the northeast. And... That one, have you seen it? Yeah, that's, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, that's one you. Yeah, that's one I was thinking of. So fights. That was folded off over there when coming to the northeast. Oh, yeah. Well, and then we picked it up again right here. But we have, we went on down with the deep line. We had a mess with this yet. Go in here that somewhere? sulfide, I think it went two, two percent copper and two, two and a half ounces of gold. Yeah, it's good looking stuff. Right? Yeah, it's nice really color. That. Yeah, yeah. calcolin's a little boronite. Concentrate. Right. It's not been treated or anything. I mean, yeah. it, it, this is this is carrying gold and silver and uh, out of it. So what we've got here is we got about maybe a uh, you know, 1,600 pounds. By the time we finish here, we'll have a we'll have a ton of it, and then I'm going to ship that up to uh, Canada, and we're going to uh, process it. process it up in Canada and uh, and complete our uh, our. Uh, Processing uh, and recovery system for the uh, flotation car up there. We'll use Lake Field uh, to do some work on it. We'll do work by, uh, ourselves on it. But we're okay. not trying to. Okay, watch you guys. The priority of taking Is that going to be the same stuff that we had before? It's going to end up looking like this? No, this is this is bullion. 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 It's gold. You, you'll see it here in just a second. If, if you have a little time to let that mold cool, we'll flip it out. There's about seven or eight ounces, nine ounces. Yes, right there. How long it takes to cool? Oh, we need we need a maybe ten minutes, fifteen minutes, Good. so I can flip it. 
Good. Okay. You can't you can stick it outside let it cool off like in one second? I'm just kidding. I could I could stick it outside and it would help, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah. If you can. I just don't want I don't want to upset the upset core. the uh, core. I was just gonna say. Yeah. What I do is I use a flux with this to protect my crucible and it also takes out a few impurities that may be in the gold or in the Doré bar. Okay. So that's what's on top that you see. That's a we'll, that's my flux. That will come right off. That will come right off. Excellent. And the um, and the gold's laying right at the bottom. In a minute. Now, so what what's the percentage in this Doré bar? How much? Do in terms of purity or in terms of I quality? would say that from this mine, it's the second purest gold in the United States. So it's it's going to be 97% pure. Approximately. As is. As is. Right. So, so we what take the it to stuff is going to be. Just my slag, my slag. my silica, my borax glass, yeah, and my soda ash. And some silver. And what about... Um, this is the second purest mine in the United States, though. So. Yeah, the 97% to 3% would be the silver. silver right. And in terms of um, when you take this now to the refinery, where it's going to be, quote-unquote, refined as pure bullion. Yeah, this is about... I mean, they're only going to up at a couple of percentage points. Okay. But it has to be done anyway, because at some point, at some point, they're going to take it. It has to be nine, 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 nine. nine. They have to. That's correct. Yes, they have to. Nine, 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 nine. That is correct. I was hoping maybe you caught the metal coming out. I did. I did. I did. I wanted to get also a still picture. Okay. Very hot. Very hot. It better not, Ernie. Uh, it's got some. It'll have some, but it won't. It always goes back in the box. Watch you don't burn yourself, Cass. It's like that. Uh, oh, it's cold. Not cold. <laughs> well, at least it'll pay for your airfare back. <laughs> I think so. Maybe. <laughs> nope. It won't wait. Yes, it will. If my scale is correct. 73 is 21. 210 is 7. 200 and how much? There's 207. 207 grams. 207 grams.